Hey everyone, Trina here. Welcome back to another art video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We'll do the landscape, but we're going to use these two colors. Now this is the burnt sienna, and this is phthalo green that I have a million tubes of, and I hate this color. I just think it's the ugliest color ever, but we're going to try to see if we can mix um, the phthalo green, burnt sienna, and white and see what we can come up with and make a landscape. Okay, let's mix some colors real quick. I'm gonna start off with just a little bit of this and just see where we're at. I have never mixed these two colors before, but there's gotta be a way to use this hideous color. And you can see here, it's just so much. I'm getting a nice brown there. Um, what if we add just a little bit of white? The phthalo blue or phthalo green has a bit of blue to it. Well, actually a lot of blue to it. I here we have a nice gray. That's kind of fun. I can work with that. Um, I'm thinking... Obviously, if we just do something like this, we're going to get a nice sort of orangey light color here. That's kind of nice. But I want to experiment a little bit more with this. So what if we just did more of this, but not a lot. Ah, oh, so sticky. I just want to get some colors to start. Let's see where we're at. I mean, have you ever used the these two colors together? I'd love to know in the comments. Probably need a better palette than just deli paper, but that's what we've got today. Okay, that's a little better than that brown, I think. We just add like a little bit of white into it. I'm gonna get this color again. Oh, it's a little different. It's a little different. It's a little warmer than that one. So you can see you can get some nice grays. Okay. Let's um, start making some marks. You can see that my Dilly paper bled through a little bit here, but that's okay. We're still going to use it. Let's just start making some marks. And we're back to horizontal, in case you were wondering. This is um, the Canson 140-pound um, watercolor paper. Pretty cheap, easy to find everywhere. I'm going to start with that sort of brown color there. Just to get some pretty quick marks down. The acrylic. I don't like using that. Let's see. We need. Let's try our color shaper. Ooh, I like that. See, this is a color I can use. This is actually not bad. And we're probably gonna cheat a little bit and add some phthalo blue or some Payne's gray. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna spritz a little bit of water in there quickly. And then we're just gonna make our normal marks. because I love Payne's Gray, and therefore we're gonna use it. <laughs> oh, I maybe got too much water. Okay, I'm feeling a lot of Payne's Gray today. Ooh, that was fun. Look at that. That's fun. Let's go back in with the color shaper. 
and get our marks down. I need to get some of that water up for a towel. Okay, we're just gonna, that was way too much water. Oh, that's better. Ooh, I kinda like those dots that it made with the paper towel. Well, that's kinda fun. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the DeWent um, ink tints. some fun marks through here just being loose and kind of just seeing what we get I think I'm getting a little carried away here but I think I'm gonna go in with the ink tents blocks just to give a little bit more texture through here I promise you we'll go back to the colors. <laughs> but you know how I love my marks. Okay. I decided to go back in with a little wet uh, a little water on this. Just to see what kind of marks we can make. Like when it's just a little bit wet. Ooh, I'm liking that. Look at that. That's fun. Okay. We need to get back to our original plan to use <laughs> three colors. I really do like those marks though. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this green, this gray green that we made here. I'm liking this. These aren't colors that I normally work with. I mean, I kind of work with green a little bit. Um, try some of this orangey color. Let's see what happens when we put it through here. The good thing about using two colors and white and possibly um, Payne's Gray or a black is that your colors are going to be very analogous and work well together. So the idea of picking colors gets a lot easier when you, when they all go together. So that's one reason I want to try this. So I'm going to take that orange color and I'm going to make it even lighter. Like the palest peachy color that we can find almost white, but I think this is going to be a good highlight color for us. And I went with a brush because I find it's easier to mix color with a brush. I'm not a big palette knife girl when it comes to mixing colors. Okay, so let's just add some of this in here. It's gonna need some more dark, I think. But I wanted to get this in real quick. Ooh, I like that. That's a good combination, I think. What do we think? Do we like it? Might need some more down here. Ooh, that was a bold mark. Not sure I meant to do that. <laughs> um, let's muck this up a little bit. Here I've got a little bit, I added more of the thallow blue and just a little bit of burnt sienna. And let's see what we get here. Let's just look here. That's kind of fun, real dark. Let's play with that. It's almost like a khaki green.
I maybe got too much water on that. Oh, things are falling. I kind of like this as just like a little light wash. It's kind of nice. I'm not sure about this color. And that's probably because it is that Arteza paint, which I am not a big fan of. It's a little chalky. And it doesn't dry very well. So. I'm adding in a few, a little bit of matte medium into this paint to thin it out. Um, I like to use matte medium to thin my paint with a little bit of water. Uh, just because it keeps the paint together. Sometimes when you thin with water, you break down the molecules, so you don't want to do that. And then, okay, I want to add in just a few of these little scribbly stencils, and I didn't dry my thing before. So we're gonna get a little mixture, that's okay. That is perfectly fine. This will also make it a little, I don't know, I was gonna say shiny, but that's not the word I'm looking for. That adds a whole lot, that's fun. Let's add some more over here. The one thing that is nice about the Arteza paints is they dry super fast because there's so much filler in it <laughs> that, yeah. But I'm not a person that likes to waste things, so I will use whatever paint I have so that if you buy it, you use it. That's kind of my feeling. But this is sort of just practice, so. Not that I'm going to go buy any Viridian. I'm not. <laughs> okay. I feel like I want something just a little bit through here. Not a lot. Ooh, this is kind of fun. Look what it did there. Ooh, I like that. Let's... The marks from the... Where I just got a little bit of paint on there. That's kind of fun. Let's go in with some white. I think this is one that really needs a lot of white, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I like those marks. Those are fun. Kind of gives the feeling of movement through there. It's amazing how many different marks you can make with this color shaper. Like, I really like it. I'm so happy about it. Okay, for today's block, we're going to use the ink tints again, the blocks. Could use marker, could use pastel, but I really like how these ink tints, it's going to give it a lot of good texture, I think. Let's add some water to that. get it wet and see what it does. Okay, I might be getting carried away, but I'm, I'm gonna do what I gotta do here. It needs... That's maybe too much black, but... I'm not sure I like that black. It's not very black. It's kind of... 
kind of not black at all. Ooh, that's good. Right there. Okay, I got some black. Um, now I'm gonna pick out some pastels. And we'll see where we're at after that. Okay, I've got these two colors here, which are pale brown and green gray. So let's add in some green gray. Add in some marks. I got a little too carried away with the black, I think. It's a little, a little mucky. But, you know, everything can't be a masterpiece. I think we can make it look cool with some marks. Let's try this guy. I think it's going to be a good one. Remember, if you're using pastels, after you get done, you're going to want to fix it. Um, I'm not going to worry about it because these are just sketches. But if you were going to make a permanent piece, you definitely want to add some sort of spray fixative over it. Otherwise, it will just blend in. I'm feeling like it's a little messy. It's a lot messy, let's be honest. I'm really liking this green. The one thing that I don't like about this palette is there's no yellow. Um, so we're going to have to fix that because it needs some yellow in there. It's just feeling a little cool. It needed This is the Derwent Onyx that I'm using. Okay, so I've decided that I'm just gonna add some black in. Because it isn't, that black that I added did not really do much for me. So, I wanted to add in something bold. And I kind of want it to come, like, what if we did? So I like this area. I think that black was very successful. This is my last gasp effort to make something work here. But... So rough on my tools. Um, what it needed was some solid areas that you could rest your eyes on. If that has to be black, that's fine. Sometimes it's white. Um, okay, I think that I like it better with the black. I love this area up here, Obby. Love those marks there. I like what we did with the stencil. I think that's nice. Um, I think that, let me zoom in just a little bit here. I think this area is pretty successful right through here. I like the marks right through there. I think those are great marks. Um... Yeah, I think overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's 
see what it looks like with the matte. Okay, final thoughts. Do I think that that color palette was successful? Sort of. If I were forced to only have those two colors, I could definitely make it work. Um, but as you can see, I didn't. I added in the blue, I added in yellow. But I think the overall piece is pretty harmonious, which I like. Um, it's not as bad. I was hating it there in the middle, but I worked through it. The black is really what makes this, I think, really makes it pop and makes it work. Um, would you try this palette? I think I would like to know that in the comments. So drop me a comment, let me know. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the video to the left for another look at my work and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye. Okay, quick update. I was standing here looking at it and I decided to take the stencil and use the black pencil and add in some more pencil marks. And then I also added in some green uh, gold color through here. So I think that added a little something. Just wanted to share a little update, little PS, if you will. Have a good day. Bye.